Hey camper. Hey camper. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> hey everyone. Thanks for watching. I haven't done a video in a long time. I have a bunch of content from previous trips. I just haven't had a chance to go through and edit it. So I just uh, wanted to post a little update. I've been getting uh, a lot of messages from uh, a lot of my subscribers asking me when my next video is coming out and uh, telling me to get back on my, doing my videos because they love my content and they love watching everything that I do. And I really appreciate that from all of you who've reached out. I really do. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have any real excuses other than uh, I lost motivation there for a while. I mean, I'd still go out there on all of our trips that I've been on and I still film, but I have all that footage just sitting there. And it just, over time, it gets backlogged and backlogged and uh, I got a lot of stuff going on with work, so I've been really busy with that too. And I got some projects that just taking up so much time right now. But I'm gonna get back into it, definitely am. I just booked, oh, sorry about that. Camper, come here. Come here, camper, come here. <laughs> sorry. Camper, come here. <sighs> Who's that? Is that a biker? Is that a biker? All right. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, hey, uh, me and Bahar just booked uh, Lake Superior Provincial Park for May long weekend. And uh, we got the beach site. That's going to be really, really cool. As you all know, who's ever been, uh, all you, everyone who's been watching my videos there. Lake Superior Provincial Park is uh, by far my favorite park that I've ever been to. Algonquin is probably my number two. And then uh, the Piner would be my number three. But Lake Superior Park, there's just so much there. And there's not as many crowds as uh, Algonquin Park. Oh, camper, what are you doing? What are you doing, camper? What are you doing? What are you doing? And it's awesome. I mean, you can uh, you can hike, you can paddle, you can catch white water, you can uh, right off the highway. There's so much you can do. There's waterfalls off the highway. There's rapids off the highway. There's fishing off the highway. There's camping off the highway. Everything just right there, and you have the full, the total backcountry in there as well, which is just amazing. Uh, such a great park. I mean, it, it, it spans almost the same distance as Algonquin from one end to the other. And uh, it's, it's really rugged. Uh, so if you've ever been there, you know what I'm talking about. It's just really cool. And the trout fishing there is just awesome. So over the years, well, my brother lives in Sault Ste. Marie, so he knows everything on the back of his hand up there. And he works for the... Ministry of Natural Resources, so he know he knows the land very very well. He knows all the fishing holes. He knows all the little pockets. So over the years, we've discovered many other uh, uh, secret spots just from uh, him knowing some of those spots. So it's been pretty cool. But yeah, so everyone appreciate the, uh, everyone reaching out, and I apologize. I haven't been in the groove here and posting any more videos. And I promise I'm going to get back to it again very soon. Uh, holiday season. So happy holidays to everybody. Usually right now, me and Bahar are planning our getaway. Uh, actually not planning, but packing our getaway. We usually go to Florida. Last year we went to Mexico. And uh, this year is a little bit different. Because... We are growing up now. <laughs> we actually purchased a, a property and we've been fixing it up. And it's a fix and flip project. So we've been in there every single day trying to get this thing done. And our goal was to have it done before the end of the holidays, 
but that's not definitely definitely not going to happen so that's why we're not going away anywhere because we're just stuck working through these whole holidays and trying to get this project done so that way we can get it on the market and uh, stage it as a, a nice living home because it's been a rental property probably since the early 2000s even the 90s so it's been uh, pretty depleted and beat up so now we're taking it in there and uh, we're fixing it up and we're staging it just like a home as if uh, a family's living there so we're gonna have pictures on the walls and fix it up and uh, as some of you may know I am a realtor and a property manager so that's my line of business yeah so that's part of the reason why I uh, haven't pushed any videos out anyways I'm just going on and on I'm here in uh, Black Oaks just outside of Windsor right between LaSalle and Windsor this is probably our nicest spot that we have in this whole region other than uh, going to Point Pelee and they have a nice trail back here so that's where I am now <clears throat> and this is camper so I did post one quick video of him he's five months today look at him he's a Weimariner hey camper say hi to everybody say hi to everybody hey <laughs> he's growing really fast look at him he's getting really tall yeah so he's our new camping buddy and his name is camper right camper right camper good boy <laughs> good boy come on come on come on come on come on come on walk on the branch walk on the branch walk on it walk on it <laughs> yeah so we picked him up about uh, three months ago we went up to uh, Manitoulin Island I don't even think I edited that no I didn't even edit that yeah I have all that footage that was a really cool trip so we went to Tobamori uh, we crossed over well we spent the first night in uh, the Pinery <laughs> I can't breathe just fell spent the first night in Tobamori Sorry, first night in the Pinery, and we woke up, took off, drove to Tobamori, got on the Chichiman, went over to Manitoulin, and uh, we drove all the way across Manitoulin, and we stayed at, uh, I can't remember the name right now, it was the Lighthouse, something like that. We stayed there a couple days, and uh, what, you, what you'll see in the movie when I do come around to editing it. And Bahar, she sees this posting on Facebook for this dog, Weimaraner. And I think he was uh, two months, about eight weeks, ten weeks or something like that. And she looked at me and she's like, oh, oh, look at this dog. And I looked at her and I said, you're crazy, man. <laughs> Not happening. And uh, so the plan was in this trip we were going to spend a couple days there. Holy moly. And then we're going to go to uh, back to Tobemori, spend about three or four nights there. And then uh, last night back at the Pinery and then back home here in Windsor. So she's seen this dog and Bahar gives me the puppy eyes. And I said, okay, where is it? She said, uh, she looked it up and it was Oro Medante. We didn't know where that was. But I said, okay, if you really want it. Let's go find a, a signal. So we didn't have a signal anywhere around camp, so we had to actually drive like 15, 20 minutes to go get a signal. And uh, we sent them an email. And then we came back to camp. A couple of hours later, we drove back out to get a signal again. And they replied back. So we did this probably like five or six times through the, the next two days. And uh, I sent them a $500 deposit. And uh, we put in the GPS, Oro Medante, and we just took off. And we decided while we're on the road that uh, we're going to go pick him up and we're going to spend the, the rest of our days of our vacation in Algonquin Park. So a camper's first camping experience was in Algonquin. He's an Algonquiner. 
Algonquiner. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I'm just rambling here. So if you've put up with me this long, I appreciate it. And uh, everyone have a really great holiday season. Have a really awesome Christmas. And hopefully wherever you're at, it's nice and white and snowy. Thanks, everyone. Take care. And I'll cheers to all of you, all of my subscribers. Thanks for hanging in there. And I'll get some more content out soon.